Hello, today we're going to look at uh, um, properties of parallelograms and then start getting into how we can prove these using coordinate proofs. So first we have to think about all these properties and what each of them has. So uh, which of these have opposite sides that are parallel? Well, a parallelogram does, a rectangle does, a rhombus, uh, and a square. Now, um, a trapezoid has one set, but not two sets. So let's just put one set. Uh, an isosceles trapezoid, again, is one set. And a kite, they're not going to be. So that, I'm just going to leave blank, because I don't want to put an X, because that's what I put over there. All right, the opposite side is being congruent. That's true for all of these. Opposite side is congruent here. No. Uh, they have one set and an isosceles, but opposite sides are not congruent in a kite. All sides congruent. That will just be a rhombus and a square. All angles congruent. That's just going to be a rectangle and a square. The opposite angles congruent. Well, a parallelogram, and those are all parallelograms, so we can go at that. Um, not the trapezoid or isosceles. Um, in a kite, we have one set. Consecutive angles add up to 180. That's true here, 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 here. Um, now for trapezoid, it, uh, it works for everything except for the base angles. Because, um, and that's the thing, this thing here. So yes, but just for half. So I'll just write half. And that's not true for the kite. Diagonals bisect each other. Well, diagonals bisect each other. That's parallelogram, so that would be everything else. Um, and not true over here. Uh, here it's one set. The diagonals bisect all the angles. So that's uh, not going to be true except for a rhombus and a square. And uh, this one will say one set, but that doesn't definitely not the all. Diagonals are perpendicular. That's only true with a rhombus, a square, and a kite. And diagonals are congruent. That's going to be a rectangle, a square because a square is a rectangle and isosceles trapezoid. All right, so now we have that. And it, it kind of helps to think about what, uh, there. there's these flow charts for quadrilaterals. This isn't talking about a flow chart proof, but it's saying that we have all quadrilaterals up here. And a subset of quadrilaterals is the parallelograms. And then, the parallelograms branch off to either rectangles or they could be a rhombus. And a square is just a combination of all of it. Like that. So every, the, everything below is also the thing above it. So a square is a quadrilateral, it's a parallelogram, a rectangle, and a rhombus. A rhombus is just a quadrilateral and a parallelogram. Now the two oddballs are going to be the trapezoids and the kites. Now the, you might look online and see a different quadrilateral chart because there are some different definitions and we'll talk about this more in class um, but uh, this is what a lot of textbooks use. Now, how to prove a shape is a parallelogram. We're going to be doing this with coordinate proofs, and uh, these are things we need to know. So we're starting with a parallelogram. Uh, the biggest one is the first one. The opposite sides are parallel. That's, the, that's going to be what we're going to use most of all. And sometimes we're going to use that the opposite sides are congruent. 
Uh, these ones are much more rare, but we can prove that something's a parallelogram if we can find out that the diagonals bisect each other, or if the opposite angles are congruent and the sub consecutive angles are supplementary. You have to choose one of these four methods and then go and prove that that's true. All right. So